A court has heard the details of a terrifying car theft in which a two-year-old girl was in the back seat as the stolen car sped through the streets of Mildura. Mildura Magistrate's Court this afternoon heard Cherie Ganger allegedly jumped into the driver's seat of a car parked at a Langtree Avenue bottle shop before speeding off with the crying girl and 25-year-old woman inside. The court was told during the ordeal the stolen car rear-ended another vehicle after fleeing to Nichols Point. Ganger crashed the car into a tree where it's alleged she entered a home and assaulted a man with a frying pan while his children and wife hid in a bedroom. Ganger indicated she would plead guilty to the charges next Thursday. NAIDOC Week was celebrated throughout the region this week with an array of events to celebrate the Indigenous community, including a corroboree, marches, traditional dances and a welcome baby to country ceremony. Now in its seventh year, the event is a staple on the Mildura calendar, with families from across Sunraysia bringing their little ones to be welcomed into the community by elders. 38 Indigenous babies and children were welcomed by Aboriginal elders and the community at the event held yesterday, with hundreds of friends and family attending the celebration. A $14 million almond processing plant proposed for Hatter will provide 25 full-time and 50 seasonal jobs, injecting up to $15 million a year into the economy through ongoing business and employment opportunities. Mildura Council has issued Australian almond grower Brownport a notice of decision to grant its planning application for the hulling and stone extraction operation, which will have the capacity to process 25,000 tonnes of almonds a year. Project manager Jan Storm said the production facilities spread over 90 Hectares would be built on Brownport's 2,800 hectare farm on Short and River Roads near Hatter. It will include four bunker pads for almond storage, packing facilities and a raw goods storage warehouse. They might not be considered the cutest pups, but breeder Jackie Guinness does not shy away from bragging about her Mexican hairless dogs. Miss Guinness from Western Australia breeds the dogs which date back 3,500 years and have been allowed to evolve without human intervention. The breed comes in hairless and coated varieties and Miss Dinner said the dogs could be aloof in personality. The dogs will be on show at the Dayton Kennel Club Championships at Wentworth Showgrounds over the weekend with prizes for a range of categories, breeds and ages. For the latest news across the region, pick up your copy of Sunraysia Daily.